क्या टेस्ट है जटोरे के कटोरे में क्या देश है इतने सारे देश का अपना देश है और हर देश एक नंबर सर्वश्रेष्ठ है दिल्ली राजधानी यहाँ चलती बिन प्रकार की रीति खाने में कहानी कितनी उप संस्कृति दिखे जलेबी उप से इमरती खाने में प्रभाव है खूब इतने मल्टी पानी पूरी कहूँ या कहूँ मैं गोल गप्पे अगर वड़ा देसी डोनट तो क्या इडली है कप के कदू एट नव जो के सीरियस है सब्जी पाव भाजी तीखी तो मीठी है लस्सी जो चाहो मैं खाओ बड़े चाव से खाओ चाहे मैं चाओ मैं चबाओ या मैं खाओ कम पाओ इसमें वड़ा न घुसे चॉपस्टिक्स तो लाओ दाल रोटी तो पाओ मोमो सब खिलाओ क्यूँकी वाह क्या टेस्ट है जटोरे के कटोरे में क्या देश है इतने सारे देश का अपना देश है और हर देश एक नंबर सर्वश्रेष्ठ है नमस्ते मैं हूँ चार्ल्स थॉम्सन और आप लोग देख रहे हैं वहाँ क्या टेस्ट है काफी साल पहले जब मैं बॉम्बे जाता था तो मैं पासी लोग के साथ रहता था मैं उन लोग को थोड़ा योगा सिखलाता था और मैं उनका कम्युनिटी के बारे में कुछ ज्ञान प्राप्त होता था गुड फूड गुड थिंकिंग गुड लिविंग इज द सीक्रेट ऑफ दिस अमेजिंग कम्युनिटी नोन एज द पासी कम्युनिटी द फूड दो इज अमेजिंग इट्स अ फ्यूजन ऑफ ईरानियन पर्शन Gujarati, Maharashtran, and Goan cuisine. The only difficulty I have is sometimes with the words, particularly some of the food words: sagan kamachi, saas namachi, patra namachi, masala nadal, or gulua. कुछ कुछ ऐसा है जैसा मछली. आप लोग तो मालूम हैं मैं तो vegetarian हूँ मछली खाना वाला नहीं हूँ. तो चलिए आज हम लोग Delhi में एक ऐसा Parsi restaurant ढूँढ लेंगे. जहाँ खाली अच्छा खाना नहीं मिलता है वहाँ भी अच्छा वेजिटेरियन फूड मिल जाता है तो आइए मेरे साथ आप हम पहुंच गया है ना Delhi Parsi Anshuman. It's the Delhi Parsi Dhamshala. It's a huge building, and in this complex, we have. Mikul, and now it has an amazing menu, and not just dansak and saliboti at the standard fares. So, चलिए आइए मेरे साथ हम लोग अंदर जाएंगे. और रस्तम को कुछ खाएंगे और मजा आएगा तो चलिए आइए मेरे नमस्ते कनास कॉन्ट्रैक्टर जी नमस्ते ये रेस्टोरेंट कितना सुंदर मैं एक बार बार लाऊं मैं पासी का घर में बॉम्बे में बहुत बार काया है लेकिन ये पहली बार कोई पासी रेस्टोरेंट में कना कर रहा है दैट्स वेरी गुड वेलकम टू रस्ता लगता है कि पुराना के जमाने में पहुंच गया है कम लेट्स इट Amazing! This it's just like a an album. You've made this restaurant into an album yeah, with the menu. Huh? So this is the Parsi chai. Oh wow! Okay, thank you. So this has got mint and lemongrass, okay. and it's boiled with uh, tea leaves and milk. Right. First, I I just wanted to ask, what gave you the inspiration to come up with such a concept? Uh, so Rustams is a concept that's very close to my heart yes. because I've always wanted to showcase Parsi food. to people beyond your irani cafe staples because that is what even in bombay people know more about irani cafes and the food that's served there but not traditional home cooked parsi food so the idea behind rustams is to introduce people to home cooked parsi food we'll get to the menu we'll explore that in a minute but i'm just 
mind blown by all this memorabilia. So these are all uh, crowdsourced from families, all because it Parsi houses you find this, it's very typical to have your dining table with a cloth at the bottom and then you have like these small knickknacks and Parsi memorabilia. So that's what I've recreated the ambience of Rustam's also. is very uh, typical of what you would find in a traditional Parsi house. So the minute you walk into Rustam's, you feel like you've entered someone's house. I mean, this is just extraordinary. I've visited thousands of restaurants, okay. but I've never seen history portrayed in such a gentle and familiar way. Now, I also believe you have another surprise, and I believe you have also an amazing menu. Yes. So this is the idea, menu is basically, it's like a photo album. So when you browse through the menu, you'll see a lot of old family photos that we had as well, along with the menu. So here we've got our all day breakfast page, then all your Bombay classics. So like these are your old photos. Like What actually has happened here, and I'm seeing this for the first time, and I've also run restaurants. See how on one side we've put pictures of memorabilia, and then the menu on the other side. Can you see that? That's extraordinary. Now, I have to just quickly, before we go on to food, ask you one question that's been bugging me forever. Iranian and Parsi chai. What's the difference? Are they the same? <laughs> are they cousins? Or are they completely different? Uh, so they are completely different in a way. Irani chai uh, uses a bit of khoya also, so it's a richer tea because it has con uh, evaporated milk added to it as well. So it's a richer and more full-bodied tea. But Parsi chai on the other hand is more aromatic. So it uses a lot of uh, mint, lemongrass and your tea leaves. chai. Now, I must also ask you about the concept of the food. What inspired you to come up with such a large menu? Uh, we have a fairly exhaustive uh, veg section as well. Contrary to popular belief, we do have a lot of veg selection. And <laughs> we also, because at the, our new location at the Parsi Dharamshala, we are open since morning to night. So we have a breakfast, a lunch, a snack and a dinner menu. So this is Parsi heaven here. I mean, literally. I mean, I've tasted this chai and I can't wait to eat something. Now, there's also one thing that we always hear about Parsi food, katamita. Yes. So please share a little bit about that because that's something I suppose the Gujaratis have yes. but it's not something that the rest of India participates yes. so actively in. So a lot of our food is also influenced by Gujarati food because we came into India through Gujarat. So uh, we follow the three basic tenets of khattu, mitu and tikhu, so which is sweet, sour and spicy. And you get the sarnas with the Parsi vinegar that we use. It's a Parsi sugarcane vinegar, which is a darker, very molasses based uh, vinegar. So that blends the khatta to it. The sugar uh, is the mitha, or it could also be imli paste sometimes, which balances out the sweet and sour. I mean, you put sweet in everything, mm -hmm. correct? Yeah. Not every, most of it. Most of it. Um, I've already had a, a brief look at this menu, but what I was thinking was, what could I eat? Since you're vegetarian, yes. I think it's best that, should we try a thali? Because that will give you a good mix of dishes and you can try a lot of them. Do you have just one type of thali? No, so in vegetarian we have two thalis. We okay. have a veg thali and we have a paneer thali. Okay. So we'll try both, you can... Oh, that, that'd be fantastic. So the veg and paneer yes, thali, it's yes. ready. Yeah. You know, I think I've been served in silver in Bombay, but this is the first time I'm having a meal in copper. Oh, yeah. My God, it looks extraordinary. Okay, so this is the paneer thali and this is the veg thali. So yes. this is the patrama paneer. Yes. So it's paneer which is cased in a mint and coriander chutney uh -huh. and it's wrapped in banana leaves and it's steamed. Right. This is paneer vindalu. Okay. This is your traditional Parsi dal, which yes. is a mori dal. And this is a, a veg pickle, which is a vengna no achar, which is an aubergine pickle. Uh, and this is sarkano kachumbar, which is uh, like a kachumbar salad, but dressed Sa with vinegar. Sarkar is vinegar. Yeah, sarkar is vinegar. This is Simla again, but this has got uh, the veg dhansak dal, right. which is the masala dal. Okay. This is ravaya, which is uh, baby brinjal. Okay. 
that's stuffed with a peanut mixture and cooked in a mint and coriander and coconut chutney. So, so this wonderful. is sweet, sour, spicy. This is a soya patties, okay. and this is your traditional Parsi rotis, which are cooked uh, with a laced with a bit of ghee. So they're very soft and very thin. And this is the gajar meva no achar, okay. which is a carrot and raisin pickle. So it's again sweet and sour. So now I think I'll open this amazing banana leaf and see what's inside. Wow. Okay. It's. Maybe you've put some oil or ghee or something no, on the leaf? No, no, nothing, no. It's just the way it is? What? And uh, what I'll do, I'll get a fork. Wow, it's like magic. Oh, yeah. oh, I'll have to do a knife just so I can show. And the paneer becomes even more softer because you've steamed it. So it's got, yeah. Oh, it's steamed paneer? Yeah, it's steamed, yeah. So this has got the mint and coriander chutney. I just had a slice. I'm going to have another slice. You can see this paneer that's been steamed and it's got a built because of the chutney it's got that kata mita flavor and i'm cutting it in pieces so i don't make a mess and i'm telling you it is magic and you can also of course taste the fact that it's been cooked in a banana leaf <laughs> so now you can try the paneer vindalu with the roti if you want so I should try this, this one with, with yeah. that one. So the vindalu that we use, uh, the uh, vindalu masala that yep. we make, yes. is it's inspired by the Goan vindalu. So now I'm eating the part, it's the Goan fusion part of the cuisine, yes, correct? correct. This is what Goa has contributed Goan, yeah. to Parsi. Yes, the Parsi vindalu. It's not too spicy. The flavor is very light. It grows on you in the mouth, but it is extremely delicious. Just use their flavors lightly. They don't use overly strong flavors, yeah. correct? Yeah, it's the aim is to have a good balance of flavors rather than make something very spicy or very sweet. So you have to achieve that balance of sweet, sour, and spicy. I should have the so this is a Parsi dal, Parsi which dal. is traditionally it's called Mori Dhandar. Uh -huh. So that's it's a very simple classic yellow arhar dal, mm -hmm. but it's been tempered with ghee. A bit of garlic, uh, a bit of turmeric, and fried onions. You feel instant comfort when you eat it. <laughs> and you can taste the ghee that really comes through in it. Look at that colour. I've had lots of yellow dals, but this is a completely new experience with this particular one. You've obviously put a lot of time and effort to make yes. this one. Now you're suggesting with the rice to have yeah, this one. Okay. okay. So this is just a pickle? Yeah, this is the aubergine pickle that we have, Vengna no Achar. Let me try this one. Yeah. Very kata. <laughs> very, very kata. But nice. Yeah, oh, that's a kachumbar salad and it's got vinegar in it. Okay. So that's something that you can have when you're having probably the vindaloo also, just a bit of salad. Mm. Once again, the beauty of this food is it's not it's mita, kata, but it's not overpowering. So you can enjoy every bite. Wow. Okay. Do you want so, to try this thali now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could finish all of this, but I will. Yeah. Yeah, they got now. Okay, so this thali is the vegetarian thali. So okay. this has the soya patties, which I said, and it's got, uh, so normally all our patties has a, a egg coating on top, right. but for vegetarians, we don't do the egg. We just do the semolina coating. Okay. And this is the dhansak dal that we spoke about. It's a slow cooked dal and it's cooked traditionally with mutton. But if you're vegetarian, you just avoid the mutton and just cook the dal with the vegetables. So it's soya in the middle, like sweet and sour soya granules mm. with a mashed potato patty on the outside. This is the ultimate hash brown. If you like hash browns, this is it. And this, of course, is also vegetarian. Yeah. I'll take this spoon. Yeah. Is this dal? You were telling me this is a different type this of parsley dal. Type of dal. Okay. Oh, this is a thicker one. Okay. So we put, and we call it dansa. Dansak. Dansak. Dansak dal. Okay. Dansak dal. And it's very thick. Yeah. And this is the masala uh, base dal. Okay. If you're a dal lover, yeah. this is heaven. Wow. Oh, I just love this. Oh. It's amazing what you can do with lentils. Now with the roti, you can have the uh, aubergine in the chutney gravy. This is called ravaya. 
so it's basically baby brinjals that's stuffed with a peanut uh, spicy peanut mixture ravaya <laughs> who gave it that name <laughs> huh? i have no idea where the name came from oh, but okay. yeah so there you can have uh, brinjals which are not stuffed as well just that one minute i'll take it with the stuffing up mr stuffing yeah. You can almost smell the peanuts from here as well. The spicy. So you've actually stuffed it with peanuts. Peanuts, a spicy masala peanuts. That's quite amazing. So I presume that influences come from Gujarat. Gujarat, yes. Right. This is something I'd love to learn how to cook. Oh, cool, we can take it in the kitchen. Fine. And maybe the the chef if he has a few more minutes, he can also teach me how to make pasi chai. Okay. Done. Right. That would be wonderful. Okay. So that I've had. That's yeah. that's amazing. Now I'm a little bit curious. I'm looking at this chutney. Yeah. And look at that. It looks sweet and I've yeah. got a sweet tooth. Yes. So this is the lagannu achar or the gajar meva achar. Which has got carrots and raisins and a bit of mava inside as well. So I think this is katta meeta yeah. tikku. Yes. It actually gives you a bit of a high. <laughs> Huh? I'm feeling high now. No? <laughs> wow. Superb. Great. So shall we learn how to make the ravaya? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Wow. I mean, I must say though, I I've really enjoyed this food. Um later I'll come back and just finish all of this. I'm not going to let this go to waste. And I love tallies and I must say this is extraordinary. So if you're a tally and you're a vegetarian person just like myself, you've got to come here and try this. Either one or both together, it doesn't matter. It's mind blowing. Wow. Okay. Let's go and have a look. Let's go. Yeah. So this is our kitchen. This is where we make all the Parsi food. Oh, wow. This is Prakash Ram. He's my head chef. Namaste, Jai Sri Ram, Prakash ji. Wow. Kya naam hai? So, I have a lot of Wow, wow, wow. I have a lot of food. Huh? Great, so he'll take it forward. Okay, thank you. चाय बाद में बनाएंगे हम पहले रवैया बना लेते हैं और ये पीनट मिक्सर है हाँ हाँ आज हम जब खाया था ना हाँ जी उसके अंदर में क्रंची था तो ये पीनट है ना हाँ जी हाँ जी ये पीनट का एक पूरा क्रंची इसी का है इसके अंदर में तो अब हम इसमें स्टेपिंग करेंगे इसका जो पीनट का इस ऐसे इसको ऐसे हल्का ह and the stuffing is just peanut and peanut and yes, uh, oh, all of those milak. Yes, yeah. So all you do is you just stuff it like that and then close yeah. it like this, yeah. right? That's yeah. it, and it's ready. Yeah. Okay. If, uh, this mint coriander chutney. Yes. It's my uh, coconut. Okay. Red coconut. Okay. Uh, Imli face. Chili. Yeah. Yes. Or uh, coriander. Yes. Or green chili. Oh, I stay away from green chilies. It's too hot for me. Yes. Okay. Now we will fry it. Fry it. Okay. Karenge. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Let's yeah. do it. Now we will make ravaya. But the thing is, why is the name such a big deal? It's a big deal, right? Yes. Yes. But the name is not the name. Is it not? So make it. Let's see how it is made. Let's put a little oil. Which oil is this? This is normal oil. Normal. It will be mustard. Refined. Refined oil. Refined oil. Put it. Refined oil. Okay. इसको गरम करना है कैसे? Oh ये आग लगाने वाला है अच्छा 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 ठीक है लो लगाओ इसको जलाएंगे जी बस इसको डालना है हाँ जी इसको अब हम थोड़ा फ्राई करेंगे अच्छा हल्का सा हाँ हाँ मैं भी एक करता है ऐसे जी ठीक है मैं भी थोड़ा काम करता है हाँ क्या बात है वाह बस ऐसे ऐसे ही हिलाता है नहीं इस थोड़ा सा गर्म होने के बाद इसको हल्का सॉटे करना है बिल्कुल और ये ये खट्टा मीठा फ्लेवर क्यों आता है सबसे ज़्यादा खट्टा मीठा फ्लेवर इसमें हम चीनी इमली सब उसी से ग्रीन चिल्ली सब पेस्ट करके बनाते हैं अच्छा अच्छा ओ इसको डालते हैं ठीक है 
जब हम लोग खट्टा मीठा बोलता है हाँ। एक तो चीनी हो गया चीनी और इमली हाँ। सब मिक्स करके पेस्ट करते तो हैं इसको हमको कैसे मालूम होगा कि ये तैयार हो गया ये हो जाएगा जैसे हल्का सा ब्राउन ब्राउन हो रहा है तो ये इससे पता चल जाएगा गर्म है अरे वो बाहर स्लो कर देना इसको चटनी डालेंगे हम इसमें मिलाता है हाँ। कितना चटनी डालते हैं अरे वाह कंजूसी नहीं करता है ना नहीं नहीं अरे वाह ऐसे ऐसे देखिए कोई कंजूसी नहीं है इस किचन में अब पानी भी डालना है जी इसको पकाना है अच्छा अच्छा ठीक है चटनी डालने के बाद पहले हल्का सा मिक्स कर लेना अच्छी तरह राइट ओके पानी कब डालेंगे अभी पानी डाल देते हैं हम इसमें अच्छा एक कप पानी डालना है इसमें जी में भी थोड़ा कोशिश करता है ये है रवैया पासी कुजीन अब देखिए जब भी कोई पासी कुकिंग करता है ना आप ये बोला ना राम नारियल बहुत होता है इसमें भी नारियल है इमली है और थोड़ा सा भी डाला है ना ज़्यादा कोरिएंडर और मिंट है इसमें अच्छा और सॉस में कंजूसी नहीं करता है देखिए कितना सॉस डाला है इसमें कितना है अच्छा ये थोड़ा सा हम लोग ऐसे हिलाएंगे तो धीरे धीरे पक जाएगा ना ये धीरे धीरे पक, पक जाएगा और उसका रंग भी थोड़ा सा बदल देगा ना हाँ वाह क्या बात है अच्छा इसको देखिए ठीक है क्या नहीं अच्छा इसमें ढक्कन लगा लगाना पड़ता है इसमें आप ढक्कन लगाते हैं अच्छा इसको दो तीन मिनट के लिए अच्छा अरे ढक्कन बहुत बड़ा है कोई बात नहीं काम हो जाएगा हाँ तो ये बदलाओ यहाँ पर सबसे ज़्यादा आप क्या बनाता है पासी खुशी में सबसे ज्यादा लोग क्या खाता है रोहिया भी खाते हैं धनसक अच्छा धनसक धनसक सबसे ज्यादा खाता है अच्छा वो तो हर पासी रेस्टोरेंट में धनसक धनसक है ना सलेब बोटी सलेब बोटी आ क्या बात है ये दोनों चीज हाँ जी चिकन में डालू ये सब काफी ज्यादा ये बन गया हाँ जी ये बन गया इसको हम बॉल में सर्व करेंगे ठीक है � अच्छा थोड़ा ओ खड़ी अंदर अरे वाह हाँ हाँ जी हाँ इसको बॉल में सर्व करेंगे अच्छा दिखाइए अरे वाह एकदम पक गया हाँ जी हाँ जो हम खाए वही है अरे देखने में भी बहुत सुंदर है और सॉस कितना सॉस है ये सब जाएगा ना जी जी ये पूरा जाएगा पूरा जाएगा अच्छा और अब ये खत्म हो जाएगा ना हाँ तो अब हम लोग चाय बनाएंगे ना जी इसके बाद हम पारसी चाय बनाएंगे हाँ जी इसमें ये हो गया फिर हल्का सा गांसिंग कर देंगे अरे और आप लोग तो कोरियंडर कोरियंडर वो सब कुछ दावतर रहता है ना आप देखिए रवैया कितना अच्छा से बनाया और ये यहाँ पारसी रुस्तम किचन में आप भी जब अपना घर में बनाएंगे ना तो आप लोग का सारा बिहेवियर भी ठीक होना चाहिए अब देखिए बढ़िया अच्छा अब मैं इसको साइड में रखता है और आराम से पासी चाय को सीखता है हम लोग फटाफट पासी चाय बनाएंगे ना हाँ चलिए बनाइए बनाइए अच्छा और मैं भी ये एक चीज अजीब बात है ना जी जी उसमें दूर होता है ना हाँ जी हाँ आप सोचे हर्बल थी में दूर होता है जी जी ये पूरी ना आपका गांव में ऐसा नहीं होता है ना नहीं 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 ऐसा ह चाय का फ्लेवर आ गया उसके बाद फिर दूध डाल देना इसमें और देखिए इसमें हम देख रहे हैं लेमन ग्रास ना जी बहुत सारे लेमन ग्रास हैं जी जी उसका फ्लेवर लेमन ग्रास का फ्लेवर थोड़ा ज़्यादा होना चाहिए मैं तो लगता है तो ये उबला हो गया ना उसका अरोमा भी आ गया आप देखिए ये है पासी चाय आप डाल दीजिए अगर तैयार है तो इसमें डाल दीजिए और ये देखिए ना दूध के साथ है आप हर्बल थी खपिया है दूध के साथ है मुझे लगता है कभी नहीं तो ये बहुत आसानी से बन सकता है और मैं अभी पी के आया है और खाना खाने के बाद पीने में बहुत मज़ा है और ये है असली पासी चाय पासी चाय तो पी चुका है लेकिन इसको हम छोड़ना वाला नहीं है हाँ प्रकाश जी इसको हम भी लेके जाएंगे बाहर जाकर के पियेंगे हाँ एक बार यहाँ टेस्ट करता है अरे मज़ेदार है लेमन ग्रास है मिन और दूध मिला करके 
इसमें थोड़ा सा चीनी भी डालना है वो तो हम बाहर तार के लिए पियेंगे तो चलिए Wow, what an experience. Rustam. Parsi cuisine. I've eaten in people's homes, but I've never eaten once before in a restaurant like that. The food was amazing. And to think that the Parsis migrated from Persia to the coastal shores of Gujarat. I'm just in heaven. Wow, I could come back again. Now I'm also suggesting to you you must come and try one time. It's very easy to locate. It's not difficult. Now, if you have any ideas or any feedback or any suggestions, don't forget we have at email wagya taste at the rate gmail. So do write to us, do contact us. And now I'm signing off, and I'll see you again on another wonderful episode where we'll explore another wonderful community.